of because just like this thank you thank i thank the chair for giving me this opportunity to intervene in this debate i've been listening with great attention to the somewhat fractious nature of the debate i remember the learned minister talking about louis armstrong way back in 1962 and i think at that point in time the president of the united states was richard nixon but there was no proceedings in the senate to celebrate what louis armstrong had done there were no proceedings in the house to demonstrate as to what the great scientists in the united states had done but we still welcome uh, the prime minister and welcome the government for having taken up this issue to celebrate the achievements of the scientific community science is a subject that is so far reaching that it can change our lives but to change our lives we have to think about innovations in science at every level at one level is the what isro has done has been able to achieve to reach the chandrayaan and the south pole but at another level we have to think about 1.4 billion people in this country and ask ourselves the question what has science done for them i remember in government when i was the minister we started a project called project 800 that project 800 dealt with 800 million people who are who almost live at the poverty line i asked my scientific community why do our rickshaw pullers have to pull rickshaws because for the kind of gasping that it results in most of them get tb and when they get tb their lives are shortened why can't you think of a solution by which they don't have to drive a rickshaw you may reach the moon you may reach the stars you may research the skies but what you need to do is look after people on the ground and what happened sir we invented something called the selecsha now you have through technology people don't have to pull weight behind the rickshaw that is what we were able to do i also told them i said look at the coolies in the railway station sir and look they have to the carry chair. they have to carry weight why should they have to carry weight why can't we find solutions for them look at the way we treat our dead the corpses the way we carry them in the vans and then we try to offload them why can't we have a scientific solution for them i talked about doing research for common people for planning for things that will improve the lives of common people and sir one of the problems that we have and other minister knows it the kind of funding that we do in research is so minimal that we won't be able to find those solutions you may sir reach man on the moon but we what what you have to deal with this man on the ground may i tell you sir one little thing sir nobody had ever gone to the antarctica i decided one day that let's go to the antarctica and see what's happening on the ground there when we reach there sir i cannot even explain to you the inhuman conditions in which our scientists were living absolutely inhuman conditions the result was that 6 months in a year they have to be behind in these closed rooms and by the time they came out during summer most of them uh, had lost their minds they came back as broken souls why because there was no communication with their families and the rest of the world there were no toilets sir i when the minister went there there was no toilet to go to you can't imagine how we dealt with it i changed all that the minister will not talk about it we changed all that we brought information technology we brought information technology now now sir no we we established the himadri station we established the himadri station through information technology through satellites they talk to their families every every weekend we have provided entertainment to them we provide movies to them today why because science and technology must bring solutions for ordinary people in this country sir and may i tell you another thing sir in research the total research funding that we have in this country is about 50 60 billion dollars do you know sir how much china spends in r and d 560 billion dollars every year 
how can we compete with them? We may reach a man to the moon. So it's a great thing what ISRO has done. And I think we all must celebrate it. But there are miles to go before we sleep. And it is no need to congratulate ourselves for man reaching on the moon. We will congratulate you. We will call a special session of this house when you solve the problems of the people of this country to technology. <laughs> May I tell you, sir, something very interesting? I have, I set up a system, and because of our prime minister, we set up this system near Delhi Gate. I told them through science and technology, without going to any house, we can find out what uh, unauthorized construction has taken place. I actually took them to that place and showed them every morning the kind of unauthorized construction that was taking place. That project is still there, but nobody goes there because nobody wants to deal with unauthorized construction. Please. I informed them mm -hmm. that we can actually, we can actually uh, uh, decide what is the amount of house tax that can be paid without visiting the house. Please conclude. conclude. So, uh, there are fabulous things that science has done for the common people of this country which are not being talked about today. I want to inform the house. I don't mind sitting down now. I have no problems with that. But I See, just want to tell you that it is time for people to realize it is, kindly sir, you know very well that we brought out the tsunami system, which is the most modern in the world. In 120 days, we set it up. It's the most modern tsunami warning system in the world. And everybody appreciates it. We did it during our time. So we must congratulate you for what you have done. But remember, it's not enough. Shri it's not Prakash. enough to congratulate yourselves. It's not Jaudekar. enough to congratulate the only thing. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, normally, e one second. Okay, one minute. Uh, one minute, please. It will, it will start. So you are in a hurry. Yes. Thank you very it's much. There, sir. Thank you very much. Maybe on another one minute, day. Sir. Another day, you let me speak. Thank you very much. No, Mr. Sibel, you can take one minute. Your mic is on. So what I, was saying was, up. what I was saying was, in agriculture, we set up a system through which we can find out the moisture in the, so in the soil. Mm -hmm. We can inform the agriculturalists as to when the rain is going to come, when this particular plot of land doesn't enough moisture so that the agriculturalists can actually access water. To, we, we were able to tell fishermen as to when the chlorophyll in the ocean was enough for fish to come so they didn't go and fish. We were able to tell the fishermen of this country the warning systems as to when, when it's going to happen. We, in fact, Mullers, the entire climate system was in, in, uh, in analog mode. We changed it all to, to digital mode. So the kind of things that have happened in this country are so great that we must celebrate science on a daily basis. And so the last thing that I want to say, and that is this, sir, not only this, we have actually in the biotechnology sector done so many milestones that we have achieved in this country. But people don't talk about that because people want to use this forum as a forum to pat themselves on the back. Thank you very much. Sri Prakash Javdekar. Sir, kitna samay hai mera?